Hello there. You are at one of the final steps in the procedure to be able to stream your own music using Winamp and the Shoutcast plugin and a free streaming server at myradiostream.com. This video assumes you've gone to my blog, um, formark.blogspot.com, and you've done the steps prior to this one, and you've signed up for an account and installed Winamp and everything else, and also started your streaming server. And if you haven't started your streaming server, you'll see a green button called Start. Click that. It should take some time. And then once it's started, you'll see these three buttons here. And um, once you see those, you can go ahead and start Winamp on your PC. Now, once you start Winamp, you may or may not see the Shoutcast Source DSP configuration window. If you don't, don't worry about it. Go to Options, Preferences, DSP Effect under the Plugin section, and then click on Shoutcast Source DSP and click Configure Active Plugin. So there are five possible simultaneous streams that you can do. Um, we'll just configure the one for now. If you go back to the website and go to Server Settings, you'll see something called the Server Address copy that and this is the server address that your Winamp software will connect to and then copy the port and paste it in here don't change the stream ID that's fine there is no user ID there's just a password which is listed here copy that and paste it Change the reconnection timeout to 30 seconds. 5 seconds puts too much of a load on the server. So change it to 30 seconds. And then go to directory and give your stream a name. Uncheck the make the stream public box. Go back to login and click v1.x. Select this option. So the Shoutcast server at myradiostream.com is v1.9.8 and therefore it is a v1.x server. So select that. This is pretty important. It won't work if you're in automatic mode. So select v1.x. Then go to the encoder section and select mp3 encoder. We do this because the 3dx chat server expects the stream to be in the mp3 format. If you do not see the mp3 encoder option here, that means that you have not copied lame underscore enc.dll into your Winamp installation folder. Um, please go please go to my blog and uh, that's listed as one of the steps there. Follow the video and you should be good. Once you copy the file, remember to close and open Winamp so it can find it. And then go to encoder settings and then set 128 kbps and 44.1 kilohertz stereo. Once you do that, you should be good to go. Recheck everything. Make sure that your server is started and do that by refreshing the page. And as you can see here, my server is still up. Go back to Winamp and then on the output section, click connect. And there you go. So once you see send and some number KB, that means it is able to send data over and um, that's about it now in the next video i will show you how to add music and play um, music in winamp and send that over but at this point you have successfully connected to your streaming server you are sending data and anybody with the streaming url which is basically the direct stream url over here can listen to anything that you play in winamp or even any audio on your pc that's about it for this video. Thank you very much. You are close to the end and I'll see you in the next video.